All right, so today I'm back to take another look at the Boss SY200 and the different uh, types of sounds and variations that it has within it. So uh, today we're going to be looking at some of the bass effects. And uh, I'm just sticking with the same setup that I've been using, which is my Telecaster running direct, uh, excuse me, direct into my DI Plus uh, preamp and then I've got the SY200 in the effects loop of that. So this is my dry sound. And again, no amp modeling, no IRs or cab simulations or anything. And when I turn this on, it's going to be just the affected signal, no dry signal. So... So no dry, the effect volume is about 50% of what it could be there. Variation number one for the bass. Uh, it's got a little bit of like an envelope. You know, like it responds to how hard you're hitting it there. Kind of compressed too, like even if you play lightly, it's kind of there. And then if you uh, play kind of hard, it kind of hits the wall, but it doesn't get like that much louder. So I've got this expression pedal set to control the tone. So that's kind of with the tone a little higher. This with the tone lower. Definitely more bass-like, and you can use this to kind of a little motion to the effects there. And let's say you didn't want to go all the way up on the sound there. You could adjust this, or all the way down for that matter, by going to Menu, Expression Pedal Function, and it's set to control the tone, but if you go down here, you can set what the minimum and maximum would be. So, for example, let's set this minimum to 20, and let's set the maximum to... Oh, let's say 60. Yeah, let's try that. So it gives it kind of more of a whammy effect without getting into that like super high range that we had there. Let's uh, put it right there. Let's mess with the resonance. Like the resonance was making a difference there. Maybe not noticeable across the board, but uh, when you go extreme with it, it's noticeable. The depth. Definitely tell a difference with the depth. It's almost like how, how much of the filter or the uh, envelope filter were kind of here and there. Kind of interesting. Let me go ahead and put the expression pedal back how it was. Uh, so, minimum being zero, maximum being 100. And we can just kind of dial that in in between there. All right, let's try the second variation. We've got about nine, uh, no, 11 base variations to get through. So this is number two. Still got a little bit of a envelope limiting effect if you strum it. But it's not as aggressive as the first one was. Cool. 
you roll the tone forward while hitting one of the notes there. I like that. Let's mess with the resonance. It's down resonant. Uh, the little element that I feel like goes into that. Uh, let's go with the down. Not really vibrato y. Feel like it's got some kind of modulation going on with it. It's kind of cool. Let's grab that. And okay, oh, that's nice. So that's with the tone up higher. Resonance has uh, got more uh, more control than it did on some of the other effects. The depth is up. The depth is down. Depth is back in the middle there. And let's do the variation. Seven. So right away this one doesn't wasn't really striking me, but I like what's happening underneath the tone. So if I turn the tone up, it kind of comes out a little bit more. that range of it there. Let's mess with the resonance. The resonance all the way down, it's, it's still usable. A little bit different. There, it's 50% and then with the resonance all the way up. It has a different character to it there. Put it back at 50 and mess with the depth. That's interesting. Now depth all the way down. Depth back to the middle there. Okay. 
Uh, let's go on to the next variation. Number eight. Let's mess with the resonance there. Resonance up. Resonance down. Depth. Depth down, it's still. I don't know, it's my favorite like that. Like that. Could just be where I've got the tone set to. Hmm. Not my favorite, but it works. Uh, let's go on to nine. I'm just going to make some of the dry signal in just to see. Dry signal back out. Interesting. Let's, uh, let's mess with the depth or the tone. Kind of cool on a single note. The chord's okay. Right. Uh, let's do this. Let's go up with the resonance. Okay. Down with the resonance. Back to the middle. Let's go up with the depth. Middle. There we go. And some of that with the expression control the tone. Let's go to the next variation, number 10. This one's got kind of that uh, almost like a vibrato, kind of a lo fi vibrato. I hear a lot of these and I just think of like old like uh, video game music from like the late 80s, early 90s kind of stuff. I got some nostalgia for a lot of that music there, so uh, being able to make some of it with a guitar is, is been, uh, been really cool. mess with the resonance all the way down going up put it back to the middle let's go up with the depth all the way down back to the middle and tone cool and I think uh Oh, that's the number, wait, number 10. Okay, yeah, we still have the one left, number 11. Okay. Let's put the tone all the way up. Let's back it up some. So it's somewhere right in the middle. There we go. actually what's being controlled uh, by this middle line here. Kind of cool how it ramps between the notes. At least uh, from the unison to that first octave. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's go with the depth. I guess this could be something where you could even set it, you know, uh, say like a fifth below, seven notes below, and then maybe add in some dry signal back into it. You know, if you 
just got like a regular unison mode. That's cool enough. And then like that's gonna sound bad, but if you put like minus seven or plus seven, you get that low fifth beneath it. above. sit here and just keep going through uh, these sounds and just jamming on them and everything but uh, I think I've got a good idea of some of the bass sounds that we could use here obviously this uh, can actually take uh, bass sounds now obviously guitar effects you can just run you know whatever into them but this does actually have a uh, bass mode which I believe how would I get to I think it's in system yeah, right there. So mode would be for guitar or for bass. And that's just going to make some of the uh, sounds react a little bit differently. Who knows? Maybe I'll go through all these again someday uh, with a bass guitar just to see what the difference will sound like. But uh, yeah, it's, it's still cool sounds. Uh, I'm still uh, you know, wanting to show them mostly with the dry signal out. So you're just hearing the uh the affected sound and then blending in uh whatever dry signal or amp affected signal you have is going to completely change all of that so uh it, it's just too hard for me to throw in you know go through all of these on different types of amps and everything so i hope that this is a good representation of uh you know what this thing is capable of i'm still loving it and i've still got uh let's see we got the dual sweep noise sound effects sequencer and arpeggio left to go so still plenty of stuff left uh, for us to cover i'll go ahead and cut this video for now but uh, thank you for sticking with us and uh, check out the other videos in the series and i will talk to you soon <laughs>